One thing I'm lacking on the uh, hobo is a means to get, uh, well, to go swimming, a swim ladder basically, or to help retrieve somebody from the water. Um, I'm looking here and I'm thinking the best place to put a, a ladder, I, can, I won't put it here because of the, uh, uh, the sonar there. Uh, I do have a nice spot on the transom and uh, I could hook it right over there. Uh, I guess on other hobos, there have been some attached to the side and, and so on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll show you what I made up just as a template, just for planning purposes. There is, there is a, a ladder. So I'm thinking of an extension. That's about 30 inches long. That includes uh, for this two and a half inch piece or whatever. And there's about 10 or 11 inches that hook in here. This is just to give the dimensions. I'll construct it a little bit differently. And uh, I'll use some PVC lumber similar to this, one inch, full one inch thick by uh, three and a half. I think this has been cut down from something that's a little small. It was just a scrap I had. So uh, let's go inside and uh, I'll show you what my plan is. Okay, the garage is a little bit of a mess. I have to, I've got a lot of half finished jobs. And, We'll sort of work around things. Um, this is that uh, little model I made. Uh, this is a full one inch by uh, three and a half inch piece of PVC lumber. I ended up for this project buying um, two 10 footers. And I figured that's going to be enough to do the rungs and everything. And everything's sort of haphazard there because I was using the chop saw and had to try and steady things. What I've done, oops, this goes like this. You can see I've made, I'm going to have a rung down at the bottom. If you can imagine, this is a rung here, seven inches, a rung here, a rung here, a rung here. So I'm going to have four rungs. And at the top, this is where I'm going to have cross brace. So uh, one, two, three, four rungs. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got the two laid out like this. And I'm thinking ways to do it. I could use the table saw. I don't have a router currently. I've got a router stuck in a, uh, in a uh, router table, but I've got my CNC router here. And I do have videos, if you're watching this on the Hobo channel, I do have some of the, uh, uh, well, I do have some router videos on stuff I do with this. But I'm going to use the router in a manual mode to traverse back and forth. And uh, I'll put a, that's right now is a little conical pointed bit. I'm going to put a little small, um, sort of like end mill bit and I'm going to track back and forth and I'm going to make four grooves and just so I can recess the uh, the, the rungs of the, the steps of the ladder the rungs of the ladder uh, I'll probably recess them in a quarter inch of the one inch thickness maybe a hair less so I'm going to set this up now there we have it the two uh, side rails of the swim ladder are laid up here side by side you can see they line up i'll be cutting across here i'll be milling across here 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 and i've got this little board here just to space them out so that when my router bit goes through it can clear across into space back and forth and i'll be manually controlling the uh the motions back and forth and incrementing and uh, i'll be using this end mill it's not very big is it but it's a nice flat uh, flat uh, tip and it'll take many passes and we'll go across and I'll be putting that in the collet right here so that's the next step okay I now have the uh, flat bottom milling bit in the router that's a one horsepower Bosch rotor I got manual actuation of that. That's not the original spindle. And if you want to know more about the machine and setup and things like that, uh, check elsewhere on the channel. I have maybe three videos or so on some projects and I may be adding some soon. But so here, we're going to mill across here, a few passes across there, a few here, a few here, a few passes here to make a one inch wide slot, about a quarter inch deep. I'm going to try doing it all. Uh, I might end up doing an eighth inch passes. So I might go... Uh, do an eighth inch of depth and then go an additional eight inch, uh, eighth of an inch of depth. So first of all, uh, and I'm not showing you here that the keypad here, but I'll show, show you that in a moment, but uh, I can uh, 
This is the z-axis. I'm bringing it down. I'm going to establish a home point that I can always return to. And this is x. I'm going to cross, cross here. And y, I'm going to... That's the coarsest axis. And I'm going to get a piece of cardstock because this is how I sort of help zero. Um, come across an X a little bit. Uh, I gotta bring her up. Ah, wrong up. That's the up. Okay, so I just come down a bit. Oh, it's just a fussy little thing here. There, I know my zero is about, that's about zero. I'm going to treat that as zero. Okay, that's part of an old antenna, airplane antenna just fell down. Anyhow, um, I'm going to back up the X just a little bit. And just so I can find it, I'm calling that home. And I'll show you what I do here. So all I do is enter to set org. Oh, sorry. After. Okay. Enter. Enter again. Zero, zero, zero. So I can find that point. I can tell them now when I go down Z or Z, uh, I'm looking for eventually a quarter millimeter. Okay. So... I'm just going to go down a quarter inch rather. So I'll be going down about six millimeters. And, uh, but I might do it, first of all, with three. So I'm going to go down three. Let's go 3.5. Approximate is good for now. And that is that. If we look around here, yeah, we're nudging right up beside that. I'm going to actually back up the exit here. Okay, and bingo. I'll set this down and we'll try and cut. Now this might be noisy. Okay, Z. Okay, we'll traverse X back this way. Okay, you can get the general idea. So I'm going to continue uh, indexing this axis, the Y, and just move it that way a little bit. And then I'm going to traverse across, and then I'll move the axis again, and I'll traverse across, and I'll get to the one inch point. This is my scrap piece. It's a gauge block. I'll keep going until that will fit in the groove snugly. And that's when I stop. And I'll move up, and then I'll work on this groove right here. But right now I'm going just uh, three millimeters deep. I'll be going over it a second time. After I get it to the established width or close to it, uh, I'm going to go to full depth and then, and then finish the width, I guess. So anyhow, this is all about making a ladder, but you get to see a fun little tool here. I thought I'd use it. So...
Okay, it's all three millimeters deep, and you can see it's very close. I just need to increment this just a little bit more. Yeah, we're gonna go for a millimeter and a half. So at a millimeter and a half, roughly 21, I'm gonna to go to 22. 22.2, uh, 23, no, it's not very, ac it's really uh, tough to get it on. 20, I had it before, it's just trial and error. 22.6, I don't want that. 21.8, we'll try that. Uh, we'll try that. Uh, I had a little boo-boo right here where I bumped it out too far, but that's okay. I'm going down another three millimeters now. So look at the Z or the Z. I'm going to go to minus 5.9, roughly. Actually, minus 6. So we're going to go... And this has a finer feed on it, so I can get it more accurately. Uh, minus three. We'll go. We'll take that. Three point one. We'll go X plus. Okay, done one groove. It's a little wide, but that's okay. It'll get the support. It'll be screwed in with some stainless screws. So, three more to go. And I think on the next ones, I'm going to go full six millimeter depth rather than do two passes because one horsepower can handle it. And uh, sometimes the bit will get hot, and on plastics, we'll do funny things. It will melt and make funny chips and weld up stuff onto the bit but this pvc cuts pretty pretty uh freely uh and i wish now since i'm doing four of them i should have written a little program but uh g code program and i could have just executed it four times but uh i'm lazy i didn't want to do the writing and then the troubleshooting okay let's do three more and then we'll get on with constructing um uh, our ladder That's cutting six millimeters deep, no problem. Okay, the second rung is done. That fits in nice and secure. It'll be secured with uh, stainless to seal screws from the back. So that's good. I have a third one and a fourth one to do. Okay, the four sets of grooves are done. And uh, now we go and... Ah, come on. Okay. The pinion on the bottom is dirty. And I did not... I've got to take it apart and wipe it down. You see how much uh, fluff you make uh, or sawdust. Uh, this is... And there's a lot of super fine stuff too. That's why I have a plastic... Uh, enclosure over this thing that I can pull down when I run it in automatic but you know today I did some manual cutting so I'll just unclamp it and we'll take it to the workbench and figure out what I need to do next here we have the uh, the rails of the ladder and probably going to go I'm going to cut uh, four pieces that are about 12 inches and those will be the four rungs and I'm going to be cutting some other pieces also that, uh, well, this, anyhow, I'll be cutting some other pieces uh, to do the inner part. And if you remember this, this is sort of the, the plan. There will be a cross piece here, and then there'll be a inner, shorter inner piece. So I'm going to start cutting pieces, and uh, we'll just do it on the chop saw. And we've got our stuff here. Here's the ladder loose assembled. All the 12 inch, I made them 12 and a half inches so that uh, you end up with a 12 inch space between the two, but they're 12 and a half inch uh, steps bedded in a quarter inch each side. And I just got the square here. I'm gonna use that to make sure it goes together squarely. I'll use uh, these uh, stainless steel screws. And I'll put two or three there. And I'm also going to, uh, for gap filling and just additional security, I'm going to use some uh, polyurethane. Uh, this is water resistant. When I uh, 
did the boat rebuild. Uh, in some places I did use a Gorilla Glue that claims to be um, waterproof. But in this case, this isn't constantly immersed or anything. I'm going to use this in the joints. And I might use some uh, masking tape just to make sure it doesn't ex spill out too much and uh, stain the, the white. We'll see uh, how carefully I can do that. So we'll put this together first. The ladder is done. All out of PVC. I ended up not using all of the uh, three and a half inch stock that I had, about two 10 foot lengths, and I really only used uh, one 10 footer and um, maybe three feet of the, uh, the remainder. And I had another piece of one by six that I used for the stop down here. So see the short leg here just butts up tight. I had to assemble in place to get the angles right and to get this vertical because the transom rakes back. The boat isn't totally level right now, but uh, when the boat is uh, level in the water, this ladder will actually be out on a little bit more of an angle there, so it'll be a tiny bit of a stair step as opposed to purely a ladder. Uh, so I used about 44 stainless screws, or two inch screws, and uh, those there are holding this stop board on. Four steps, seven inches apart, and I've got this this is a piece of three quarter I had kicking around. That's another piece I just had kicking around. So I'm quite happy with it and I won't try it right now. I'm 220 pounds and might be better when I'm just getting, you know, when I'm half in the water. The other thing is the glue, the polyurethane isn't set yet. So I use the polyurethane because it is usable with uh, PVC and it's water resistant. The stuff I used, not waterproof and it's gap filling and so on, but uh, it helps the screws so anyhow that's in addition to the hobo the only thing i have to figure out now is where to store this thing i mean how much does it weigh it weighs 15 pounds maybe maybe 20 i'm not good at estimating um so i'll have to maybe i'll lash it on top of the gas tanks i'm not really sure either that or we'll figure it out there isn't that much room inside i could try and stick it on the roof but the bikes will be up there um We'll find out. And focus. Okay, good day.